Reza's a big bastard. I want to show you why that one can kill you in two moves. I guess I need to put. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm going to turn on damage notation and I'm going to show you. I ain't going to play goddamn Tekken them. Go away. That needs a master's thesis. Fight screen info. All right, now let's see. See, that's a high counter throw. See how much damage that one high counter throw does because the wall is danger zone. It's basically 150% damage now. Look. Why I keep messing that up for? One hundred and sixty-five damage. That's basically seventy-five percent of his life on high counter. So if I do that twice, he's dead. That's ninety-six damage. Let me show you that again. This is how much you normally do in a combo. This is normally two combos worth of damage. She does that off. So if somebody matches hold and you hit and you catch them with that, they lose that much percent of their life. That is 112 damage. See, that's a good quarter of your life. Look at the amount of damage that one threw it does on high counter on a danger zone. The most powerful move in the game. Now this is the second most powerful move in the game if I could actually do it. Nope, I'm not doing it right. Yeah, how, how do I do a rush? I should actually look what rush is before I'm doing stupidness. Oh, that's a rush. I count on a danger zone, so you always have to be mindful what you're doing. This is why she's a lightweight character. This is why she has so much problems. They actually made her a complete character. She would be broken. She would easily be the best character in the game, but she has two problems. She's super lightweight, so her, your, your combos will do more damage. She has absolutely no wake up. She doesn't have proper parries. She basically just has a teleport, but that's pretty good because... If you're on the wall and then somebody attacks you, she does her parry and then they're in the wall and then this is what happens when they're in the wall. Wait a minute. That's basically what happens when they're against the wall or if they're against the wall and she does. Whoops, wrong one. How much damage that is from that one wall thing. See how much damage she does on high count. She. She is stupid as shit. Now this one can be stupid as shit too. Wait, he too heavy, I gotta fix this.
98 damage off of one thing high counter through so yeah you just you just gotta be mindful of these characters man 115 Nah, Rush is a thrill. Rush is just a regular thrill. Now I'm gonna show you why these ones are just just so dangerous on on high counter throw and why I would say they're probably the most damaging. Yeah, screw Ellie. He's a bastard. Now we see trading settings. Always high counter now look. See how much damage she does off of one high counter so now here's another one. 89 damage off of a wall. Seventy-eight damage off of just a simple hold. Ninety-six damage off of that hold. So basically, I do this. Eighty-six damage off of a high counter hold. One oh five damage. One oh two damage. Like I said, look, look how much they're just doing on high con. Two simple combos and they will kill. That's why I said these characters are dead. And especially against the wall. Let me see which which ones of our wall throughs now. Right here it is. Now you pick a different stage. Always height count. Now look how much damage she's gonna get off this wall. Whoops, wrong one next to the wall. Come on, get to the wall. 94 damage off that wall. So yeah, they're stupid on high counter. These characters are absolutely silly. The thing that makes them even more deadly is they're fast as all the hell. And we, they get you on high counter and they crush you. You're going to run into problems.
And another and another thing about these two characters, these two characters were actually nerfed in the in the first first variation of the game before the patch. She has she used to have a loop. She had a vortex actually, where she could go into this and she could reset you off of that and do all sorts of silly stuff. So if she actually hit you in the vortex, you you would be in a bad way. If she retained her vortex, she probably would have been the best character in the game. Right now, she's probably number three or five. This is a top three character. This is for the reasons that I've shown you. Her moves are crushes. She's fairly fast. She does so much damage on high counter. It's not even funny. In a three in a three chain situation, you could basically kill somebody off a high counter with her. Add that with her advanced ways of moving. And she also has wall follow-ups as well. See, bounce off the wall, giving her a different thing. She also has a bound. See, she has a bound. A, a fairly easy to access bound as well. So yeah, pretty good.